Councillor Palacio, the next speaker. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Is um, I'm going to move that the um, Chief General Manager of the Toronto Transit Commission and the General Manager of Transportation Service be requested to work with the Chief of Toronto Fire Service to ensure that any minor changes to curb heights, if necessary, are made, ensuring that fire apparatus can access the right of way or or a street as necessary along St. Clair Avenue West. Is this something that I didn't have in mind to begin with? Is um, given what is has transpired today, I would like to see a report that comes forward to the works committee so there is some kind of clarity, some kind of transparency. And at the end, what's happening here is that uh, the onus will be on those who are going to be making those decisions today. The responsibility is going to be on those who are at the helmet, like Councillor Chambrone, who is the chairman of the TTC. He's been around, he's been around, he mentioned that yes, he's, at, he's been at a number of meetings. I haven't seen him once in the many public meetings that we had on St. Clair when he came to exclusive right away, on the many and many number of uh, public meetings is um, now there are some concerns, legitimate concerns. Legitimate concerns that. Councillor Jambroni, do you have a point of privilege? Perhaps uh, the counselor misspoke, I mean, or perhaps his indication was that he hadn't seen me, but in fact, I was at meetings at the Piccinini Community Center, and I can get the date. I don't have that off the top of my head. It was a couple years ago, Madam Chair, but perhaps the counselor was mistaken because he didn't see me or I'm wondering if he's insinuating that I was at any at that's any of the meetings of well I was at, I was at the meetings that's an incorrect that's statement Councillor Chambroni I do wear glasses and I have a good sight as well and, I give, and also a good memory and I know All who right, is Councilor present Palacio, thank you is uh, on the on the item Madam Speaker this report is very clear it's an eye-opening to the thousands and thousands of people that who live along St. Clair, to the thousands of people who have brought the, the nature of this problem in terms of community safety to the forefront of the meaningful debates that we had for years. And that was one of my concerns all throughout, for years as well. It's, this has nothing to do with exclusive right away. It has nothing to do with that. We are talking about with safety. That's paramount to, to everything. And I praise the chief for somehow honoring the report that was written by the district chief, expressing serious concerns, very serious concerns as, as you can see them in the report. And now it just, I'm just going to go through a few. The report says, it's quite clear that the TTC right away on St. Clair Avenue West, without doubt, is unsafe, page number 10. Among many other cons conclusions, it's also that the TTC right away, as constructed on St. Clair Avenue West, is not usable by the Toronto Fire Services for emergency responses, page 20. There is no doubt that there will be delays in emergency vehicles in response to the St. Clair on St. Clair, page number three. Personal injury to persons at the streetcar stops are possible as well as the Toronto Fire Service personnel on apparatus, page number five. And that one that really catches my attention is the following. It will cause the fire apparatus to move into the poles, supporting the traction power lines, damaging the side of the apparatus. In an, in an extreme case, it will cause the apparatus to drive into one of the poles supporting the traction power lines, or indeed hit a streetcar head on, page five. This is not my report. 
This is not my report. This is a report in relation to a number of questions, legitimate questions that I have asked for years. Questions, for example, is the dedicated uh, exclusive right of way safe for fire apparatus in terms of emergency response? Question number two, will the center force configuration have any impacts with regards to the, to the project? Number three, will the Toronto Fire Services have concerns for easy and safe operation of the fire apparatus due to the curve of the, of the dedicated DTC right of way as installed? The report's very clear. Move an extension, all in favor, opposed, carry. The last page, you, if you were to look at the last page of the report, page number 20, in the conclusion section it says, the DTC right of way as constructed on St. Clair Avenue West is not usable by the Toronto Fire Services for emergency response. Now, this report has been signed off by in a number of deputies, I'm going to, well, there are too many to, to name, but one of them is the fire chief, Stuart, deputy chief, Boyko, and, and the list keeps on going. At the end, what's before us is a safety concern. A safety concern where the public is going to, put, to be put at risk. The onus is on those who are making the decisions today. And I hope this council, in its wisdom, you do the right thing. You cannot, we cannot compromise the safety of our residents. The intention of, what, of, of the infrastructure that we are trying to create is something onerous and supportable that we all want. But we cannot compromise the safety of individuals, of those who are living there. After all, don't forget that you are trying once again to create the prototype that's going to, to be served as a template all across the city. And this is going to defeat the very purpose of what we are trying to do. We are going through the slippery slope and we are going to end up where you don't want to be especially, God forbid, if there is accidents where there is going to be fatalities. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Palacio. Councillor Mehevic, you have a yes. clarification question? Yes, I'm just wondering, your letter that you submitted to uh, Council, um, when did you receive that letter Sorry. from the... Uh -uh. No, Councillor Mehevic, in terms of what you can do right now, it's clarification on the motion on the screen only. Only. Okay, my questions are not related to the All motion. All right, thank you. 